السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته رجعنا لكم من جديد لشروحات جديدة بإذن الله لا تنسوا تشتركوا في القناة تفعلوا زر التنبيهات لمشاهدة جميع المقاطع عشان تجيكم الإشعارات أول بأول كمان يمكنكم تدعموا قناتنا بالبحث عن قناتنا الثانية جي 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 ون إكس أو الدكتور جمال بالعربي هتضغط اشتراك وتفعل زر التنبيهات ممكن تدخلوا على القناة وتشيكوا عليها وتشوفوا الأشياء اللي فيها توجد فيها العديد من الأشياء اللي قاعدين نشرحها في لغة بسيطة وعامة وإن شاء الله الكل يفهمها غير كذا في قوائم تشغيلية زي ما أنتم شايفين في عناوين طبية وعناوين تقنية وغيرها الكثير ما راح أطول معكم ممكن تروحوا وتتفحصوها بنفسكم وإلى مقطع جديد ونقول بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Today we'll continue on the anatomical landmark of the complete denture Sorry for being late uh, for updating our videos because we are we have going on the hard work or hard period of times so we already uh, have been discovered on the previous lectures on the anatomical landmark of the complete denture uh, we described the anatomical landmark and its definition and we say that there is two types of anatomical landmark extraolar and intraolar uh, the first lecture we talked about the extraolar anatomical landmark and on the previous also lectures we uh, covered uh, the maxillary anatomical landmark today we will talk about the uh, mandibular anatomical landmark so on the maxillary we talked it about uh, on three lectures supporting and re uh, limiting and relieving structures uh, and this is the maxillary anatomical landmark today we're talking about the mandibular landmark uh, especially on this lecture we will talk about uh, supporting structures and uh, the next two lectures we will talk about the limiting structures and reefing structures of the um, mandibular anatomical landmark and اليوم راح نتكلم على mandibular supporting structures الأجزاء اللي هي تعطينا support أو الدعامة للدنشر الطقم so we have three anatomical supporting landmark of the mandible one is residual alveolar ridge this is the residual alveolar ridge and we describe that residuals means there is no teeth on the alveolar process second part is the buccal shelves and the buccal shelf is considered as primary stress uh, peering area peering area يعني هي المنطقة اللي uh, تستحمل ال 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 القوة اللي تيجي عليها بشكل يعني قوي so the primary stress peering area is the area where the occlusion force is vertically or at the right angle of uh, the area يعني هذا uh, الالفيلو process or نقدر نقول اللي هو uh, البقل شلف بيكون كذا والقوة المض or masticatory force or occlusion force بتيجي بشكل عمودي at the right angle على زاوية 90 تقريبا عشان كذا سميناها primary stress bearing area to know the difference between primary and secondary stress bearing area you should go back to the previous lectures uh, the third structure is mylohyoid ridge so let's consider each one individually and we will talk in the next lecture about the limiting structures which is labial frenum labial vestibule, buccal frenum, buccal vestibule, written molar bed and the lingual frenum and the uh, alveolar lingual sulcus this is on the next lectures also uh, after that lectures we will talk about the re relieving area uh, mental forming area uh, genial tubercle torus mandibularis sharp mylohyoid ridge and crest of knife edge and the sharp pony prominence this we will uh, explain it in the next uh, two lectures inshallah so don't be worried about this forget about it we will consider today about the supporting structures supporting structures so mandibular supporting structure first we talked about the residual alveolar ridge the crest of the alveolar ridge which means uh, let's say this is the mandible and uh, this is the alveolar ridge or a uh, the residual alveolar ridge and the crest of the residual alveolar ridge is a prominent 
kind of P sharp area of this surface. Okay, this is a small explanation. يعني كشكل مبصل the crest of the alveolar ridge هو الجزء البارز من residual alveolar ridge. The bone of the crest. Sorry. The bone of the crest is cancellous. Uh, cancellous means spongy. Spongy. You can see the masamat. The crest of the uh, the bone of the crest is uh, cancellous. يعني uh, في مسامات. So it's not good area for support. يعني بهذه المنطقة ما هي منطقة كويسة للسبورت. As the crest منطقة العليا. Okay. Uh, in nature, and it's covered by keratinized mucosa. To confirm the keratins, because they will be able to make the reforms in the majority of the time. For keratins, we know that it's help for mastication and prevent uh, the soreness of uh, the mucosa. We know that the keratin helps us in the mouth, and it also prevents the soreness of the mucosa. Now we talked about the crest. So now we talk about the slope. Of the residual ridge, the slopes is uh, this kind of area. Here, the slopes, يعني منحنيات كذا. تمام هذه the slopes وهذا the crest. لو جينا نوصفها. يعني زي كذا. هذا the slope. ومن جهة ثانية برضو نفس الشيء. هذا the slope. منطقة منطقة الاثنين هي the crest. So these are two slopes. On the lingual surface, on the palatal surface, and the junction between them is the crest. So now we're talking about the slopes of the residual alveolar ridge. It has a thin plate of cortical bone, considered as a secondary stress-bearing area. If you saw or concentrate, it's cortical bone. We have two 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 types of bone: uh, cancellous or spongy bone, and cortical bone. It's cancellous or spongy bone. Uh, have a porosity and it's um, it has a pores okay or a holes فيها هو يجي زي الاسفنجة ويكون فيه فتحات أو فراغات أما ال cortical bone فهو is compact bone يجي صلب وما فيه فتحات فعشان كذا إحنا ما اعتبرناها إنه stress bearing area وال crest وما هو منطقة حلوة للسبورت Uh, but on the slopes, we consider it as a secondary stress-bearing area. Okay, secondary stress-bearing area for the mandibular uh, alveolar process. So, why is not a primary stress-bearing area? As we already described, the primary stress-bearing area is that uh, can uh, withstand the vertical uh, force of the occlusion. At the right angle, and if you consider the slopes, is secondary because it's prevent or um, withstand the horizontal, okay, the horizontal or lateral force. يعني ال secondary superior هي تحميك من ال القوة اللي تيجي من الجنب. لكن primary هي اللي تيجي أفقية وعلى زاوية تسعين. Because the wall is steeped acts as acute angle of the Occlusion force, يعني إنه تكون حادة وتكون لنا زاوية حادة في ال occlusion force إنه هو هذا. The second part is the buccal shelves, and the buccal shelves is this area. Okay, this is the buccal shelf. In this area on the cast, and in this area of the patient, this is the buccal shelf. And uh, the buccal shelves, as we consider it, is uh, a primary stress bearing area, and this is most important in MCQs. Primary stress bearing area of the mandible is the buccal shelves. So it's bound anteriorly by the buccal frenum. So this is the buccal frenum anteriorly. من الأمام تكون محاطة بالبكر frenum. Posteriorly by the retromolar bud, and this is the retromolar bud. Okay, and this is the retromolar bud. It's not appear here, but it's supposed to be here. Okay, uh, retromolar bud uh, is a connections of group of muscles. Okay, يعني منطقة التقاء مجموعة من العضلات. هنتكلم عليها in next lecture إن شاء الله. We will talk about the retromolar bud uh, on the 
I think, relieving structure. Uh, so uh, let's continue. So anteriorly by the buccal uh, uh, frenum and posteriorly by the retromor bed. Medially by the crest of the ridge. This is the medially, this is the crest. This is the crest, medially, okay? Or medially, the jewel family, crest of the ridge. And external, uh, okay, and laterally by the external oblique ridge. So this is the external oblique ridge. We have here, um, kind to be here, external oblique ridge from that side. Hadi and Wasfaha generally. So uh, the point is a uh, very dense on the buccal frenum and covered with less keratinized and loosely attached uh, when compared to the crest. Significance, ahamiyatha, the importance of the buccal shelf. Um, in spite uh, of non variable mucosa, considered as a primary stress bearing area. Important notes, okay? Uh, so, uh, uh, it's a primary stress bearing area. Why it's primary stress bearing area? Because uh, uh, it's at right angle of the vertical occlusion loads and covering by the dense cortical bone. And we say cortical bone is impact bone. Yani, adum salb yukon. غير كده انها تيجي vertical force مع يعني بشكل عمودي على ال vertical force. The mile higher ridge number three. Uh, it is a pony ridge uh, found on the lingual side. This is this is the um, uh, mile higher ridge. It's front here and there is also here mile higher ridge. Okay. Uh, of the mandible near to the inferior border of the mandible. Okay. Uh, inferior border of the mandible in the incisor region. Okay, this is the inferior border of the mandible. Okay, uh, as it goes from upward, downward until here, so it's inferior border of the mandible on the incisor region. This is the incisor region, and the mylohyoid is near to the inferior border. This is the inferior border at the incisor uh, uh, area. And this is the end of the mylohyoid, so it's near. لأنه هنا منطقة الإنسايزر وال وال والمايلوهيد ريج يجي مايل كذا يكون نازل تحت في منطقة إيش الإنسايزر area and become higher higher a posteriorly tear to terminate at just distal to the area of the third molar. زي ما قلنا إنه هو جاي لفوق كذا so it's higher on the distal area. And this is the third molar, and it's distally to the distal uh, to the third molar. عشان كده هو تجي يعني وهي طالعة تكون طالعة إلى الخلف distally, وكمان بنفس الوقت تجي يعني خلف the third molar. يعني أنت هي خلف the third molar طرس الأقل. Okay, it's give attach to the mylohyoid muscles which form of the floor of the mouth. عندنا the floor of the mouth أرضية الفم. تكون تغطيها مسلس عضلة تسمى المايلوهايود مسلس المايلوهايود مسلس ترتبط في المايلوهايود بون المايلوهايود ريج and sorry المايلوهايود ريج and the hyoid bone so this is the مايلوهايود مسلس so the مايلوهايود ريج is consider as Uh, supporting structure. So the significance of the mylohyoid ridge, ahmiyat, uh, or the importance of the mylohyoid ridge, should include it in the denture peering area. يعني لازم إحنا نحطه as a supporting structure. Sharp, prominent ridge, اللي هنتكلم عليها في the relieving structures. ولاحظوا إنه إحنا تكلمنا في البداية في the relieving structure quickly. Sharp mylohyoid ridge. Okay. هذا راح نتكلم عليه محاضرة قادمة. So if if On the leg structure, we will talk about it. So, if uh, there is a sharp, prominent uh, ridge, should be surgically corrected, otherwise relieved. يعني يا إما إذا كان حاد مرة نشيله, or if it's small, we just uh, make a relief. يعني نسوي تخفيف عنه. Thanks for watching and sorry for being late for updating our videos. Uh, so don't forget to like and share and comment and subscribe and. Give us your opinion on down on the uh, comment section. See you soon.
والسلام ختام السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته رجعنا لكم من جديد لشروحات جديدة بإذن الله لا تنسوا تشتركوا في القناة تفعلوا زر التنبيهات لمشاهدة جميع المقاطع عشان تشجعكم الإشعارات أول بأول كمان يمكنكم تدعموا قناتنا بالبحث عن قناتنا الثانية جي 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 ون إكس أو الدكتور جمال بالعربي هتضغط اشتراك وتفعل زر التنبيهات ممكن تدخلوا على القناة وتشيكوا عليها وتشوفوا الأشياء اللي فيها توجد فيها العديد من الأشياء اللي قاعدين نشرحها في لغة بسيطة وعامة وإن شاء الله الكل يفهمها غير كذا في قوائم تشغيلية زي ما أنتم شايفين في عناوين طبية وعناوين تقنية وغيرها الكثير ما راح أطول معكم ممكن تروحوا وتتفحصوها بنفسكم وإلى مقطع جديد ونقول بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم